<gasps> oh! Guards! Guards! I want those! Uh, th those, sir? Yes, little man! Those! They will be my elite shock troopers! Nothing will stop us! Nothing! Today, this toy store! Tomorrow, the world! The world! <laughs> Perfect, yes! It's Perfect! Uh, Can have a big day tomorrow! <laughs> Someone make me a sandwich. Colonel, Vicky and I just had a horrible thought, sir. If this serum can reverse the effects of plastrification, what's to prevent them from finding and reviving Plastro? Well, we may have this war wrapped up before they can find him. Uh, what? What? How? How? We've just verified information taken from an informant that identifies the location of Field Marshal Tannenberg. If we capture him, the war will be over. Who's this informant? I have the name myself, gentlemen, and children. My name is Bridget Blue, intelligence operative for the Blue Resistance. And who are you, my rugged darling? Sergeant Sock, Sergeant Talk. Uh, listen up. We will assault Tannenberg's secret base tomorrow. Excuse me. I will let you get back to this important work. Perhaps we can meet again, Sergeant Talk. Maybe in a warmer setting. Eh, Sarge. You got a girlfriend already. She's in the room. And you forget she exists. Because someone good looking stares at you. Good God! What's the matter with you? The fact that you went all gaga over while blue getting. Okay. Maybe my disdain for her is a little much. What can I say? I don't much like seductive characters unless they're done extremely well. And she doesn't make the cut. Anyway, this is the first of many good missions in the game. We just ripped through a ruined city with Thick backing us up. I kind of wish the green helicopter and green tank got to do more in this mission, but still, Thick is no slouch and it's kind of a relief to finally have to come back up for a good amount of a mission in this series. Granted, the enemy's more explosive happy in this mission, so you've got to take a few hits for Dick, or he'll eat it pretty fast. And you've got to hope you don't get killed before you reach the next medkit. Still, feels like one of the better missions in the game. I kinda wish Thick followed us a little longer though. Yeesh. As a side note, is it just me or is the auto-aim not as good in this game? Sure, it technically locks on to the enemies a decent distance away, but you're not as likely to hit them when you're locked on. The fact that it took me until the 8th mission of a 17th mission game to figure out that one almost makes me feel embarrassed. Then I remember just how quickly those missions went by, and yes, I am using the machine gun even though we could get through with just the regular rifle. What can I say? The number of enemies this mission throws at you at once actually makes it feel reasonable to want a better firing rate. And the annoying discovery about the auto aim in this game makes me think the rifle isn't the best weapon for this mission. Another side note, it's almost sad how this mission is the first one to really make me pay attention to what's going on on screen. We could have died quite a few times already! Ugh, damn it! Have to find just the right spot where he won't shoot at us! There we go! Very rare that we need to take cover in army, man. And while we could have taken him if we charged at him, then we'd have to deal with these guys on top of that bastard! Yeez! Didn't take long for machine gunners to start getting annoying in this game. Literally the mission after they started becoming common again. Now that I think about it, wasn't that one in the second mission of the game? Good to go. Eh, good god. Hasn't been that long since I was working on the commentary of this game, and I'm already forgetting the details? How is that possible? The game isn't that long!
I can't tell. Is that our chopper or one of theirs? Exploding on a helipad without even being shot. Wow. I don't care whose side that pilot was on. We need some aces in the sky now in order to make up for that painful show of incompetence. I don't care whose side they fly for.